Although our captain's thoughts turn more towards safety than toward valor, I doubt not his courage, but I applaud his caution. Oh, this is true. More often is he bid us dig in, boys, than with a flourish of words up and out lads to them will take the fight. I count him wise for that. Bless him nightly. Twas the bloody works of N that forged the man, tis said. Even so, he started with three hundred men, some grown hard and battle wise, most keen young <coughs> whelps, beardless and bright of eye. Some even sang school songs of sport when disembarking from the train that brought them up. It took not long to age them. The Germans greeted them with howitzers, which blew their tidy first dug trenches into bits. Our generals craved a victory, though. Their edicts pushed our soldiers on. From the dubious safety of their holes, they crept, forward charged, and one upon another fell like wheat at bloody harvest. Your Captain Roy was the cause. Only in so much as he must carry out the general's will. But up and out was his call that day, and straight towards the hot stuttering guns did his men fly. But none did see the sun go down again. All dead, to a man, to a boy. Every grizzled chin and every soft-cheeked lad in minutes were they gone. The German guns went silent. Doubtless they were amazed at what they'd so briefly done. The field was empty of the living, full to bursting with the dead. Then two men stumbled silent home. Roy, who led the fatal charge, now racked and burned by German wounds, was carried on the back of his right hand, Vachon, lieutenant of the rank. These two alone did survive, though Vachon had lost an eye. Roy had many hurts. Roy's fleshly hurts did heal. Methinks the wounds of heart and mind still bleed. Still, past valor is valor still, and the caution for his men is not a shame, as long as you lose no honor in present service. You amaze me to speak of honor anymore. With all you've seen and done, all we all have seen and done, honor is as ancient as the sons of Rome. Men die, but honor cannot. <laughs> 